Good morning. Happy Monday. This is Donna. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for our Monday morning coffee. And yeah, I had to go get coffee this morning. I just couldn't get it together with the coffee maker. So, um, yeah. And then I had to walk because my car decided yesterday to start overheating. And I have something wrong with my radiator, I guess. I don't know. So, I can't drive this week until it gets fixed. But, you know, that's okay. I'm just not going to let it bother me. I guess I'm going to go rent a car. I got to ride to a, um, uh, my little lady that I take care of. I got to ride to her house today. So, um, and that's all that matters. And then I'll work on it the rest of the week. Um, so, how was your weekend? Mine was kind of a up and down weekend. Uh, Friday... It started off not too great and uh, Friday night and I had something happen and I just you know I, I kind of mentioned it in uh, another video I just really don't yeah I'm not gonna talk about it but just do me a favor and be in prayer for me it's an unspoken prayer request but um, God knows what it is and then Saturday I tried to get a lot of things done. I, I got a lot of commitments out there. Once again I have overcommitted myself and um I'm trying to get them finished up and then I did finish some things up Saturday but um I still have some more to do. And then Saturday night I had a wedding to go to, which was really was beautiful. And then Sunday I went to church and then that's when I found out my car was overheating. Um, on my way home, so, um, and I put antifreeze in it, water, da 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 everything I know to do, so, and I see it kind of dripping out of the bottom of the thing, so, yeah, I know it's got a leak somewhere, so, if anybody has any ideas how to stop a leak in a radiator without going to a mechanic today, let me know, <laughs> um, what else, okay, let's see, for the week, um, tomorrow I have Dollar Tree Tuesday, of course, and then Wednesday, um, if I get some of the things done on my way, Wednesday we will have a, a Christmas craft, and then Thursday we will have, um, Card Design Thursday, and it will be another Christmas, just keeping with the theme of, you know, Christmas in July, so I'll have a Christmas card there, Friday and Saturday, um, I may or may not have some videos up, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm really working hard this week on finishing some commitments up. And then any day that I get um, entries for the 500 Subby Challenge, I'll be putting those up as soon as I get those in. Um, it might take me a few days or whatever to get acclimated because um, I have to drive to the post office and I can't drive to the post office right now. So I'm trying my best to get things done. Um, Jane, who's ultra junky. I have your card. I'm trying to get it done. Um, I just need to finish up one thing on it, and then I'm going to be mailing it out, but be patient. Um, it will be in the mail tomorrow, and hopefully it will get to you by Friday. I just got to, and I have some other things I've got to mail out, but there again, i got to get to the post office to do so. So, um, what else? Um, there's been a lot on my mind this um, this past week weekend and stuff. Um, you know, I was speaking with some, you know, a friend, and um, ooh, hold on a minute, I gotta. Sorry, I didn't want to sneeze in your face. <laughs> um, but I was speaking from a friend from church this weekend, and we were talking about. You know, the tragedies that's happened over the last few days, the course of the last few days in, um, in our country. You know, Minnesota, Dallas, Texas, where so many police officers were, were killed. And that is, uh, and then Louisiana, just a lot of things going on in our country right now. And, um, I'm, I, I'm so heartbroken by the, hate and the and just stuff that's spewed from people's mouths that are um, professed to be Christians and it, it's really bothered me and um, I don't judge people um, those who are not Christians 
I don't judge. I mean, that's your prerogative. You're, I mean, nobody's going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you that um, there's something wrong with you because you don't follow Christ. But those who do profess to be Christians, you know, our Lord and Savior says we're supposed to come to you and say, you know, in love, you know, you're doing this and um, this is not right. We need to make it right. And I don't know how we're going to make this country right again because there's so much out there that's not done in love. We have people who are race baiting. We have people who are supposed to be Christians who are just hating on everybody and... Um, I'm not very happy about it. It makes me sad. So, you know, I try to be positive and I try to encourage people to be kind, to be nice to each other. And, um, but, you know, my church, we have, we have small groups in my church and all the small groups right now are doing this um, Bible study on this book called Flesh. And, um, it's uh, about bringing the incarnation down to earth. It's learning to be human like Jesus was. And sometimes I think we forget that when Jesus came to here, this earth, when he was born in that manger, he became human. He had all the same human emotions, feelings. He heard, he bled, just as we do. And we forget that he didn't come here to judge he came here to save us, to show love, to befriend the friendless, you know, to heal the sick. I mean, there's a lot of reasons he came here, but he associated with people that society wouldn't associate with. He, um... You know, he, he was friends with a prostitute. He was friends with tax collectors, which back then was terrible people because they lied and they cheated and stuff. Um, but one of his greatest commands was to love each other. And in this book that we're reading, the chapter that we read last night, it says that, you know, when you have a relationship with God, you have a vertical relationship just between you and God, and then you have a horizontal relationship, which is our love toward others, you know, so that they might see God. And, you know, there are a few examples that I think as Christians sometimes that we leave a terrible taste in the world's mouth because we don't do these things and we don't remember them. And... A couple of these things, like the first four commandments are about us and God, which is our vertical relationship. And the last six are about us and other people, which is the horizontal. The greatest commandment given by Jesus was to love God with all our heart, our mind, soul, and strength. And then love our neighbors as much as we love ourselves. And in 1 John 4, 20, 21, it says... Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have not seen cannot love God, who they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. And we have to forgive. We have to love and we have to forgive. Um as a Christian, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed to put the gospel out there. Um, but I will say this. I love everybody. I don't care who you are, uh, what religion you are, what lifestyle you live, or whatever. If you're a human being, I love you. I mean, I think we let the Lord down a lot of times because... We don't love like we should. And he's very specific about this. 
um, in 1 Corinthians 14, he says, If I speak with tongues of men and angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all the mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all the faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give all my possessions to the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but I do not have love, it profits me nothing. And then um, the rest of the verse goes into what people use for everything. Love is patient. Love is kind. It's not jealous. Love does not brag. It's not arrogant. And on and on. But we always forget about those first three verses. And if we don't have love, guys, then everything we do, we do in vain. Because... People don't care how much you know unless they know how much you care. And you might be sitting here thinking, you know, well, I'm just one person. I can't do anything. But I know most of us have seen this saying, um, and it was put really pretty. It was written out really nice in this book that I'm doing. And um, it says, let me find it. One person cannot change the whole world, but you can change the world for one person. So all you have to do is um, do something for one person. If you help one person, that person can help one person, and then that person can help one person, and it snowballs. All we have to do is show love and kindness and respect to each other. And if we all did that around the world... We wouldn't have a lot of wars. We wouldn't have strife. We wouldn't have hatred spewing. We would all get along. And I know that um, we are in, like we're in the last days of this earth, and I know that what's happening has been, you know, has been foretold to us. But while we're here, I think we also have a responsibility to make this world a better place to live in. So I encourage each and every one of you today to go out and make a difference in the world for one person. Um, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a small thing. Sometimes a kind word is all somebody needs to hear. Um, sometimes forgiveness we need to extend to someone that we've been holding a grudge against. Um, there's lots of things that we can do to make a difference in the world of one person. So, please let's love and go out there and make a difference today. And I just want to thank you all for watching and listening to me ramble on this morning. But, you know, um, this is important to me. I'm very passionate about loving and taking care of others. So, I just want to say thank you so much. And I love you all. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye.